Although we have a viewer that wrote in and they were upset the at the fact that there was some writs against their property. And their question was, how can somebody put this against their property without their knowledge until they sell? This is a, a fairly common occurrence, mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, and of course it, it affects sellers. Uh, a, a writ is a reference to a writ of seizure and sale, which is a, an order that is filed with the enforcement office of the courts, uh, commonly referred to as the sheriff's office, uh, which allows uh, a creditor holding a judgment against an individual uh, to file that uh, judgment with the court so that they may enforce the judgment against any assets that are found to be in the name of the debtor. Mm -hmm. The unfortunate uh, problem is that uh, in the case of common names, uh, innocent sellers may find that there are uh, writs registered against their property that they were not aware of. The system, uh, of course, is geared in such a manner that once a writ is filed against a name, mm -hmm. then when searching someone's name, any name that is similar to that will automatically uh, be, uh, uh, be tagged, be tagged yeah. with, that, with that writ. Mm -hmm. um, and then it falls to the seller mm -hmm. to provide adequate proof that they are not one and the same person as is named in the judgment. And that's obviously done through the legal process. Uh, we, uh, as lawyers, prepare the necessary uh, affidavits and other uh, documentation required mm -hmm. to prove the fact that this is not the named uh, debtor mm -hmm. and uh, go through the process of having that writ removed from the title, which of course is required prior to closing because the buyer uh, is requiring that title be delivered without any of those uh, writs uh, being against the title. Where can somebody go to get more information if they are curious in talking more about this? They can call us at our offices at 905-667-7990. Great, thank you very much. Thank you.